So what I do, I work as a researcher in tinnitus. My background is experimental psychology. I'm an academic, but I work very much in collaboration with uh, clinicians and patients with tinnitus. So some of my current research interests are focused on designing and running clinical trials for evaluating how effective tinnitus treatments might be for patients, particularly patients with chronic tinnitus. I've worked a, a, a lot in very multidisciplinary teams. Tinnitus is a very complex phenomenon. And so um, finding a, an effective treatment or effective way of managing tinnitus is not a simple question. We need to involve experts with lots of different expertise. Some of my recent research has been involved in working with companies who have devices or even new drugs for evaluating their potential benefit in helping people with tinnitus. And there I've worked as an academic in collaboration with quite large teams uh, with many different people who bring different kinds of expertise. So let me give you a few examples of who those people might be. So I would say first and foremost, um, the clinicians are very important. They can help us identify what are the real clinical problems that they're facing in their day-to-day -day clinical work? And we can use that information to identify what the research question should be. Um, a question that, if we can find the answer, would have a big impact on changing the way that they um, run their clinical practice or help people with, with tinnitus. They can also give us some insights into, into how clinical practice works so that we can design our trial in a way that will work in clinical practice so that we can recruit patients into clinical practice. A recent example was in a, a hearing aid study where we wanted to try and recruit patients at a very early stage. So we had to talk to the clinicians about what the referral pathway was, at what point did they assess patients versus at what point did they recommend a hearing aid to make sure that they gave patients at the earliest opportunity a chance to take part in our study. So clinicians are very important. And as an academic researcher who doesn't work in clinical practice, I can't do my research without engaging with those clinical experts. The second important people I would say I really, you know, I really en enjoy working with are patients themselves or people with tinnitus because they are the people who bring the day-to-day -day personal experience of how tinnitus impacts on them and what sort of improvements in their everyday life they're looking for. Those insights are really important in designing clinical research because it's no point us trying to find a, a treatment or a management strategy that doesn't really solve the, the real difficulties that people are facing day in, day out. So we want our treatments to be relevant to the sort of problems and complaints that, that real people are experiencing to make sure that what we're doing is of, of relevance and, and has direct impact. A third group of people that's also important to work with are the, the industry people. Those people who create the devices or those people who are developing the new drugs. They can provide really useful insights into how we might get our research findings to have impact, how we could um, change or in influence uh, the development of a device, or with respect to drugs, how we can engage with the regulatory agencies. These are agencies um, that define whether a new drug is licensed and gets to market. So those people are really important to make sure that our clinical research findings can have some real world impact in terms of device development or drug development. The final people who are um, kind of important or who've had most influence on how I do my own research are those methodologists. So 
I'm a, I'm a psychologist by training. I work with clinicians. I work with patients. They bring their own expertise, but none of us has sufficient expertise in designing a really good clinical trial. And what I mean by a good clinical trial is one that will really transform how we approach uh, an intervention or a treatment. It's not incremental, but it'll really definitively answer the question of whether a particular device or a clinical procedure or a drug is effective. I go to conferences quite a lot and we hear presentations of studies where there are a small number of patients. The, the study findings are interesting, but they don't definitively answer the question. And we need to work with methodologists and statisticians to help us design really good quality studies that are going to convince the outside world that the findings are robust and should be taken note of. So I hope that's just given you a flavour of some of the individuals that I think are important to work with and who I, I, I really enjoy collaborating with um, over the years. Working in China is very different from working in the, in the UK or Europe. The, the hospitals just see many, many more patients. In fact, the number of tinnitus patients that a doctor might see in a week is perhaps comparable to the number of tinnitus patients a doctor in the UK might see in a month. The volume is just uh, incredible. Obviously, that puts quite a lot of pressure on those ENT doctors here in China. Um, they get only five or 10 minutes per patient. And in that time, they've got to do a clinical diagnosis. They've got to assess the patient and they've got to kind of make a decision on what sort of treatment might be, be available. So for, for tinnitus, there's very little time left for counseling patients to explain what tinnitus is all about. So it's been really interesting working with those ENT doctors to try and work out how we can bring some of our research knowledge and experience from the UK and for Europe to, to help inform what, what they might do over here to help patients with tinnitus. And I think providing information that's accessible to patients, either in written form or over the internet, um, might be really useful because I'm not aware that there are any patient organizations or patient driven organizations in China at the moment. Patients are, are very much reliant on clinical professionals to help them.